Meet Dave Taylor, CPA, devoted husband, beloved father, just your average everyman who had an extramarital affair with a gorgeous psychotic. And now, Dave Taylor is paying the cheater's price. What? Someone needs help, so they call me. That's what I do. I help people in trouble. They call me the Searcher. Thank you. David Taylor. You must be... The searcher. Thank you for coming. You don't have to thank me for doing my job. You're in trouble and I can help. Now, tell me about this woman. I, I had a one-night stand and I, I'm sorry. It's just that she had this great body and she came on so strong. I don't know what happened. You gave in to cheap lust and she turned out to be a psycho, right? World class. She won't leave me alone. You have to talk to her. You've got to get her to stop. Her name is Clarice Payne. I don't know where she lives, but she works at the Pacific Mutual Building downtown. One more question. Did you ever think of using an electric razor? I, I told you I was attacked by rats. Of course you were. What's wrong? Some people. They're so stupid. Sorry, Grandma. Fireworks are illegal in this county. Now you can have a safe and sane birthday. Who the hell are you? They call me the Searcher. What? David Taylor did the right thing calling me. First, find Clary's pain. Now, set the trap. Where is she? Are you all right? I'm fine. Just one of the hazards of my job. Now, about Dave Taylor's accusations. I had one date with David. I found out he was married and I broke the whole thing off. He was furious. I've never seen anyone go so crazy. Mm, but it's just not right to get involved with a married man. Of course not. You wouldn't leave me alone. I kept calling and calling me all hours of the night, making these sick, weird noises on the phone. That's disgusting. Finally, I told him, if you don't leave me alone, I'm going to call the police. Exactly what were you wearing when these phone calls were placed? Is that important? 
It may not be important to you, but it, it's important to me. Professionally speaking, of course. <clears throat> I sleep in the nude. Good for you. I just wish you'd stop calling me. It's all right, Miss Payne. You don't have to worry about David Taylor anymore. He's moving to another state. Another state? That's what he told me. My tow truck's here. Is there anything else? I may have the tuna melt. <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Chicken. Well, he's not chickens. I just cleaned all the rat duty out of my car. Moving to another state? I don't think so. <laughs> Clarice took the bait, and my client. I'll just follow at a discreet distance. She'll never see me. Hmm. I hope I didn't give you too much tranquilizer. I know you didn't mean to hurt me, David, but... You did, and you haven't even said you're sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really, 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 really sorry. Fourteen C. like all the others. You led me on. You told me you loved me. Uh-uh. Oh, right, Mr. Liar Man. <laughs> liar, liar, liar! You can't commit to anything, can you? Gutless worm. <laughs> I'm working here, for God's sake. Yeah. Well, at least the zip line held. Oh, oh ma'am. Sorry about that screen. But you're gonna have to drop that knife, Miss Payne. I can't. I have to stop him from hurting other women. What do you really want? Just tell me. Respect? I respect you. I want a man to care about me. I care about you. I want a man to want me. Well, I want you. <clears throat> Drop the knife, Clarice. I want to thank you for everything you've done. You don't have to thank a man for doing his job. Who should I make the check out to? The searcher. Do you have a first name? Did Paladin. Did Liberace. The searcher. Did Fabian. Well, I really learned my lesson this time. Yeah, right. Just don't lose my number. 1-800-SEARCH-ME. What do you think will happen to Clarice? She's got years of therapy ahead of her. But if I know people, and I do, she's gonna be just fine. <laughs> 